G'day legends. One of the craziest plugins for 2025 may have just dropped. And I know that's a pretty bold statement, but this plugin from Time Off Audio, Dime MS, is a really simple plugin at heart. It's a mid-side processor, but the possibilities that you can create with this are kind of endless and can be as simple or as complex as you want. Now this plugin is a mid-side processor, but what's unique about this is you can apply third-party plugins to just the mid-signal, and then you can apply a completely different set of third-party plugins to the side signal. So you can apply some absolutely mind-bending and crazy processing to a stereo source with this plugin. So I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of the creativity that can be applied by using Dime MS. So let's check it out. So that's pretty cool. Just transform those synth chords into something a little bit more interesting, something a little bit wider, something a bit more exciting, and something that stands out in the mix a little bit better as well. Okay, let's dive into how this works. Basically, in this plugin, you open it up and you scan the plugins that are on your computer. So it searches for all your third-party plugins and then it finds them and then you can use them within Dime MS. So by clicking on that little plugin symbol up the top there, that's how you can dive into scanning your plugins. There's some settings that you can check out and there's also a light mode as well, but you know, the dark mode is easy on the eyes. And then a bypass button here, which is great for just turning everything off and on just so you can hear what's happening. Orange section is where we apply our mid process we can choose up to four separate plugins. And then our blue section here is our side processing. Again, we can apply up to four separate plugins here as well. And what's cool about this is you can arrange these plugins in any order as well. You can click and drag them around. Both the mid and the side processing sections have mix sliders. So once you dial in your sound, if it's too much, you can always use that mix slider to dial it back a little bit more to the original sound. <laughs> click on this little icon down the bottom, we get access to our input gain and our output gain and a master mix slider. So once you have this all dialed in, if you decide it's too much, you can still dial it back a little bit more here as well. You could also automate this for some cool effects processing too. That balance slider is so handy for getting that stereo image to sound just the way you want. And on the left hand side, we can click on this and open up this section here, the parameter mappings. This allows us to set up essentially macros for each of the plugins so that you can quickly dial in the sounds and tweak them a little bit easier than having to dive into the plugins themselves each time. So for example, up here, we click on select parameter. We can select one of our plugins. So we could go to Gorilla Drive, come down to input gain. And now we have a single slider here that we can use to push in more input gain on Gorilla Drive. So now that you understand how the plugin works, let me just quickly show you what I applied to this and why it's just so crazy. Let's click on the headphones up here so you can hear just the mid signal. Now what I've applied to this is Pixelator from JST. And then after that, I've just got Pro-Q3. That's only being applied to our mid signal. Let's have a listen to what we're doing to the side now. Firstly, I've applied Valhalla Vintage Verb with a chorus space with a 50% mix and a really short decay. Just giving it some cool character. Next, we've got Gorilla Drive adding that grit. Love what that's doing. And then after that, we've got Sound Toys Tremolator with the Fender Vibro Fast preset.
And then when we combine our mid and side processing together, I think that's absolutely crazy, just the way that I'm able to transform this sound into something completely different. And the options of what can be done here are really quite endless. Let's have a look at another way that we can use Dime MS to get a cool creative sound. Okay, so that beat that's playing in the background, have a listen to what this sounds like. So we've just like spiced this beat up in a really cool way. On the mid processing, I've applied the soft tube transient designer. Just make it hit a little bit harder. And then after that, we're following it up with devil lock. This is adding some dirt and saturation. That sounds really cool. And just remember, this is only happening down the center of our mix. Now, let's check out the side processing. First up, we've got Fab Filters Saturn 2. Nothing's really happening over on this band here. We've got the drive at 0%. But over on our right hand side, I've cranked up the drive, just getting some nice saturation. So just making it a little bit spicy on those higher frequencies. After that, I added Valhalla Vintage Verb with the Gated Snare preset. That's pretty cool. Let's combine these together. It just creates this really cool wide effect to the drums. We can really widen this out if we push it to the other side. So let's have a listen to both our drums and that key sound with Dime MS. I'm not gonna bypass them off and on. You can just hear like the excitement and the width that it's adding to this mix. That just sounds awesome. Okay, I've got one more example for you. I've saved probably one of the craziest ones to last. I'm gonna jump into another project and show you this on some vocals. I've got a lead vocal bus set up here. We've got our lead vocal down the center, and then we've got two double tracks panned out left and right. So we've got three vocals all together coming into this bus. They're all just singing the lead melody. I like me better when I'm not crying. My eyes are meant to be blue. I like me better when I'm not lying to me and my friends about you. I wasted so much time wishing you'd treat me right. But I recognize that I'm better off when we're not together I like you, I like me better that's pretty crazy, right? So let's have a look at what's going on here. Okay, so this is what our mid-channel sounds like with no processing. I like me better when I'm not crying. My eyes are meant to be blue. Now, our first plugin is Sound Toys Radiator. We're just pushing the input, pull the mix knob back a bit for a little bit of drive and saturation. I like me better when I'm not crying. My eyes are meant to be blue. Then another classic Sound Toys plugin, Echo Boy. And we have this on the hallway vocal preset with the mix at about 15%. I like me better when I'm not crying, my eyes are meant to be blue. Cool slappy reverb sound just on that lead vocal down the center. Now, let's jump over to our side processing because this is where things get a little bit crazy. Now, the first plugin we have in here is Vocoflex. This is a pretty crazy plugin itself as it morphs vocals and we're morphing Chelsea's voice into this new male voice. That's pretty wild in itself, but we've just transformed those double tracks on the side into a male voice now. Next up, we've got Air's Soft Clipper. Really cool for just saturating a sound. Then just a little bit of EQ using Pro Q4. You could use any EQ, it doesn't really matter. I like me better when I'm not crying. My eyes are 
And then lastly, Studio D. This is just going to give us a nice chorus swirling effect. So if I wanted to, I could still put this at like 50%. Still hear Chelsea's double track vocals and the male vocals. That's pretty cool. And then let's hear it all together. I like me better when I'm not crying. My eyes aren't meant to be blue. I like me better when I'm not lying to me and my friends about you. I wasted so much time wishing you treat me right. But I recognize that I'm better off when we're not together. I like you. I like me better. That's actually crazy to be able to make that kind of transformation on just a stereo signal. This would sound so good in just like an a cappella section with some drums. I like me better when I'm not crying. My eyes are meant to be blue. I like me better when I'm not lying to me and my friends about you. So you have it guys, that is Dime MS absolutely mind-blowing mid-side processing plugin right here. If you're really into sound design and just getting a little bit crazy and creative, I definitely recommend that you check this out because it is a lot of fun and the possibilities are pretty endless. If you're keen to check it out, there's a link in the description below and they also offer a free trial. So you can definitely just at least test it out and see what you think. If you guys want to show some support, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support this channel in another way, you can check out the link in the description below to my website. Go and grab yourself a drum sample pack or a mixing course. If you guys want to check out another awesome plugin from Time Off Audio, then check out this next video coming up.